Hey, what's going on? GHL Mastery, GHL Mastery VIP and YouTube. We had a question by Emma in our private GHL Mastery group about, hey, if I've got an existing client and I want to update that client with a new snapshot or another snapshot that you may have, how do I do that and how can I actually update the sub account? So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. Um, obviously, the use case is here that if you've already got a client, they've already got a snapshot, but then you go and you build something cool, maybe like a new AI tool, which I'm going to show you. Um, and you want to be able to push that into or upsell that into a client's sub account. How do you do it? So I'm going to show you the basic way. And then I'm going to tell you that there's actually an even better way to do this, um, that you can do it automatically within your agency sub account. Um, there's a few extra steps. So bear with me. I'm not going to show you that, but I will explain how that works because um, that's a whole other ball of wax. So if you are watching this live, let me know if you are watching it live and where you are watching it from. If you are watching this on YouTube and you find value in the content that we're putting out for you high-level agency owners, please consider liking and subscribing and also just shooting a comment so that we know you're here um, and that we know we're helping. Helps boost the algorithm and helps other people see these videos as well. So let's dive into it. How to load another snapshot into an existing client sub account. So let's dive right in. So I'm going to use my sub account. So we've got our GHL mastery sub account right here um, as the example. So the example would be, they've already got one. They've already got an existing snapshot, but we've got this fancy new AI snapshot that we developed. Um, and we want to implement the AI structures into this snapshot. So how do we actually do that? First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to agency view and we're going to go to settings. Then we're going to go to snapshot. And the first thing that you need to do is you just need to make sure that your snapshot is up to date. So I'm going to go and I'm going to find the core for AI snapshot. And there it is right there. Just going to hit this refresh snapshot button to make sure that you've got all the correct updates inside that new snapshot before you push it. Now, once you do that, if this snapshot already exists in another account, and I've shown this in another video as well, but you can push the update to all linked accounts. This is going to be accounts that already have this snapshot in it, um, but that's obviously not the purpose of this video. We want to show you, hey, how do I actually get this new snapshot into a completely different one? So here's how you're going to do that. You're going to go back and then you're going to go to your sub accounts and you're going to do a quick search for that sub account. We're going to go look for GHL Mastery, and there it is. So we're going to go into the settings inside your agency settings account. When you click on this actions button and you click on load snapshot, you can now come in here and you can store that snapshot. So there's the core for AI snapshot. You click proceed, and now you can decide which assets you want to push into this account. Sometimes it won't make sense to push them all in, um, if maybe you've got a different pipeline structure or whatever, you may not want to override that. Um, but you can, what I often do is I select skip first and then I go, okay, which calendar are you in? I don't need the AI booking calendar because they've already got their own booking calendar. So we're just going to go and we're going to modify the workflow to go into their existing calendar. Um, obviously custom fields, we're going to need the vast majority of those with this snapshot, because we're going to have surveys and forms and things that people are going to fill out. Custom values, yep, we definitely need all of those as well. Um, email templates, I would say, yep, we're going to need that. Forms, we're going to want all of those. Funnels, you can, I mean, you can do this manually if you want to. Um, I typically do because I know that there's certain assets that we've built that we don't necessarily want to push into every account or those assets already exist in that account because we have a standardized way of building our snapshots. And if that's the case, if you do select this select all button right here, what's going to happen is it's going to say, hey, there's some conflicts here. So let's click proceed. And this is going to tell us check for conflicts. So these are all of the things that already conflict, meaning we actually built half of this snapshot in that other sub account. So these custom values and these custom fields and surveys and forms already exist. So you have an option here. You can either individually overwrite all of them or you can skip them. And when you overwrite, it just means that you are going to replace what exists currently with the new one. 
Now, that's not that big of a deal when you're talking about custom fields or custom values and things like that, because they're virtually going to be exactly the same. The one thing that you are going to want to be aware of is workflows and structures like that, where maybe you've got an existing workflow and you've changed it slightly over here. If you push the update, it will override and completely change that workflow. The other thing that you need to be aware of is that if you're doing all of your messaging inside of your workflows and you overwrite it, well, if they did any custom messages in that workflow, those messages will be erased. They will be gone. They will be overridden with the new one. So you have to be very aware of that when you're pushing these types of things into sub accounts. So yeah, you can go and you can skip all of them, which just means that any of these conflicts that already exist in the other account, they just won't push those into there because they already exist. If you've made a change and you want to overwrite it, then you can just select overwrite or overwrite all, and it will update every single one of those fields. So that is a quick example of how to do it. And then obviously you just hit proceed and it will push that update into all of the accounts for you. So that is the easiest way to do it on a individual sub account basis. Now I'm not going to share my screen here because I don't have a perfect example and I'll, it'll take a while to walk through. But one of the things that we do when we create our client sub accounts is we actually create them through Pabli. And when we do it through Pabli, we get a new location ID, a new location API, and a couple of other pieces of information from each Pabli section. And what we do is once the location is created, once the user profile is created, and we have the location ID and the location API key, we actually will push those back to our sub account. And then what we do is we create workflows with webhooks to go out and we will actually load new snapshots using the API. So we don't have to go through that structure that I just showed you manually. If you want to learn how to do stuff like that, you should definitely get yourself into the GHL Mastery VIP group because we go through that type of stuff to help you automate and just make your life a little bit easier in the long run. And so I'm going to post a link somewhere in here for you guys to get in for our trial month at $47. This, if you're watching this on the replay, this is probably not going to be available to you anymore because this is a limited time offer. Um, and we will be shutting that one down fairly soon. So use that link to get in for $47. It's 30 days. You can cancel at any time. Um, or hopefully we get enough value into your system that you will actually stick on and go up to the VIP standard plan. Um, but hopefully that helped those of you that are not quite sure how to load a snapshot into an existing sub account. That's how you do it. And if that helps, we appreciate the likes, the comments, the shares, so that everybody can help grow their knowledge base within the high-level platform. With that, we will see you on the next one. Take care.